Welcome everybody to the Whatever Podcast. Uh, we're starting it today, first episode. So I'm here with Alex, who's joined me. Hello. Basically, in this first episode, we're going to talk about ourselves, what we're going to do, why we started it, and sort of like uh, long-term and short-term goals. Uh, we've got a few topics planned, but for the next upcoming podcast, we're going to be talking about upcoming events, what's happening in the world, things that happen to us, stories, the whole nine yards. But today, we're focusing on ourselves. So... Um, uh, first, uh, we're going to introduce ourselves. So, my name's Tom. You know me uh, as the vlogger. Um, I've got a new job recently. It's working at like a slaughterhouse sort of uh, farm. Um, I deal with like basically sort of one of the most mundane jobs you have: have pouring chicken out of boxes. Um, apart from that, I don't. I think and I, I use the jet wash to jet wash trucks and whatnot. And then on the side of that, I work at a pub. Weekends, um, that's better than the job. I feel like I'm actually like working there. Um, but apart from that, that's me. Yep, so uh, basically guys, I'm Tom's mate, probably one of his best mates because I'm his only mate. Um, I met Tom in high school, um, year nine in high school in the UK which I don't know great that is in America, but ever since then we've just chilled out with each other and pretty much been in each other's lives like every week since high school, um, kept in contact. Tom has been the only, pretty much one of the only lads who I've kept in contact with since leaving school. Um, we don't live that far apart anyway. So that's basically how I've known Tom and pretty much what he's done. And I've pretty much known what he's done pretty much since high school. Um, so a bit about me, obviously I'm around the same age um, I currently work at a company what does telecoms, so it's working with like mobile phone tariffs, um, putting bundles of data on changing tariffs, sending out new mobile phones, fitting trackers on cars, stuff like that. I did used to be an IT, IT technician in primary schools in Wakefield, but just got a new job as well, just like Tom. So I've only been there about five, six weeks. It's first payday this Friday, so get paid first of every month, so I'm looking forward to that and then um, just losing money from there due to Christmas pretty much yeah, so like I say it's the first episode of the podcast so a lot of it is going to be just current affairs and what's happening on through the week and what's big at the time so just bear with us we've got some topics as well ready for every week so I think it's going to be me and Tom at the minute for the most part as soon as it gets kicked off maybe we'll get a couple more people in or another person every week or just see how it goes and see what feedback we get as well yeah so uh, we're going to kick off with um Sort of like, like me and Alex went to school. We're gonna talk about like uh, what you enjoyed and what you didn't enjoy. Um, like the main thing I enjoyed about school was sort of just seeing like that. Like we had a little group of people and just sort of. I always look forward to the breaks where we always used to just piss around and mess around and do do stand and doing nothing do nothing just talk 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 shit um other than that i enjoyed the dinners i had pasta same stuff every day cheese and tuna every day for like three years straight Did you have three years straight yeah i just had pasta and cheese and tuna jesus man. and uh, I did, when i got to the stall i was like i got there and i was like hiya did you have to say what and the you woman were, was like did you know what you were gonna have i was just she was just like usual yeah yeah. So she did it. She like put Mary the extra England. cheese on extra tuna. Like Mary England yeah. used yeah. to be. Yeah. The one last time I went to Mary England. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was in town. Wait, well, did did you, did you have to sell? Did you have to sell oh, what you wanted? Oh, they still recognise me sometimes. And you're like tuna. I'm like, mm, yeah, go on then. Yeah. Big decision. Here. I know yeah. I'm gonna get it, but <laughs> I yeah. don't know. Yeah, it's uh, like. Yeah, we're good. I like the school dinners. For the most part, oh, I like you know. In the morning, you had the they did them chicken tikka wraps. Yeah, they stopped doing them after a while. After like a couple of fucking year. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, seven and eight they did them, and then yeah, nine they stopped doing them. I walked in I'm one gutted. day. I want chicken tikka wrap. Oh, I've stopped doing them. I'm like, oh, gonna have now I some cheese that. panini. What's like half cheese? And it's <laughs> yeah, right. It's like the, the panini. If you rip the bread off, it was like square chunks of just yeah, melted cheese. Everyone used to fight over sausage butties. Yeah. 
I didn't even. I never had a sausage no, butty once. I didn't like them. When everyone used to pick off the fat off the bacon in the bacon butties, I just eat it, man. And Joe Wilson used to just walk in, grab a bottle of juice, and walk out. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I watched that song. Got caught for that once. He got caught several times. Know, the dinner ladies were like, he used to give fake names. Yeah. He used to come back from Chippy at lunchtime. Oh, what's your name? I sent you to Doctor Williams' office. Uh, Billy Digman. And then she used to walk off. She used to walk back yeah. to us, yeah. 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 That was good. Dinner times were probably the best. Yeah. I miss getting an hour break. Yeah. You know, when you go from school to the real world, you know, get an hour lunch there. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. We didn't used to stand and do nothing, didn't we? But yeah, but we used pretty to... much every high school in the country has nothing on the playground. It's just tarmac. Like yeah. every high school I've ever seen, there's nothing to do on the, f- the tarmac or the field. It's just a tarmac or field. So everyone just stands around in the groups of friends and then yeah. just talks pretty much all lunch about we shit. Used to talk, what yeah. what matter in a couple of years? I we used to just like when it was sunny in the summer, we used to stand on like rails and just watch what people did. Yeah. And then you had the off. Um, like Will Sanderson, he used to come in. We used to hang around with Leo this year, this year and uh, he had his guitar. And I remember one time um, when he had his guitar, it was like a 500 pound guitar, and Will Sanderson comes out of nowhere and just swipes it off Leo and starts running. <laughs> and like, like if you knew Leo, when he got angry, he got like proper angry, angry yeah, and yeah. he started chasing him. And it, and like he he was quite large, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was actually it was like gaining on Quite him. Quite fast. Yeah. So Will just dropped the guitar. We were there. Can you remember when uh, I were there and it it went morning it went morning break and Leo was stood there with Joe Wilson and somebody else. It might have been you. I don't know if you were there. Mm. But me and Leo got into a fight, and then he like grabbed me and threw me on the floor. And I got up and I grabbed him with neck and collar, and there was a teacher like literally right there, and she's like, "Stop it! Stop it!" I don't you think remember that, no. Well, I kind of had to go done over anyway, but I'd yeah. still grabbed him, and yeah. then they were like, I don't know what even that were over. <laughs> but I think I got him in a headlock. <laughs> and then he threw me off the floor, and then I got up and I grabbed him a bit collar, and the teacher come. Yeah. So, yeah, but I don't even know what that were about. But I can remember when Mitch- Mitchell Baker had that guy a bit collar in, uh, in, in Corridor in like year 10. I think so, yeah. We both stood like that, it, Mitchell were like here and the guy were down there and they were like, oh, each other's colour. Like literally at the same arm's length and everything. Yeah. Ready to like batter each other over some fucking girl or something. I remember in our form in the morning, like he, he used to call me Ginger Tom. I didn't like it back then. Oh. Mitchell Baker. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And um, like one time I just had enough, so I just decked him. And then he just like... Because I, I don't really... Well, I spoke, like, in year 7, 8, and 9, I spoke. I was, like, social. But, like, come 10, 11, I was, like, this recluse. Yeah, well, that's... But, like, this was in year 7, and and he was just sort of shocked. So he just sort of sat there on the ground, like... And just got back up and then just sat down and didn't speak that whole, uh, whole of the register. He was weird, man. He, he was weird, He's, yeah. he's changed, man. He's I can't remember kid. him in year 7. Was pro- Has he? Yeah. He's Has he been kid. born? I think so, yeah. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's Didn't changed. Didn't know that. He has changed. Oh, I knew he had a kid gone way, but I didn't yeah, know he yeah. was born. I think it's born. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. I remember I were in, um, I were in town. It was me, Sam. I think it might be me, Sam and Kieran. I mean, Sam were going out drinking in town. Mm. And we're off there on bus. And Mitchell Baker and Callum Duke Speedy were on bus. And we were both on about all oh, the chug, like the chug, the same bird. And it was like, fucking hell, I don't really want to know. And they were like, oh, we have shagged it, I've shagged it, I want that, she would bet she join me more. And I'm like, I don't really want to hear it. Yeah. You know, I was picturing it in the head and it was disgusting. And then I had another conversation with each other, like, how we rented an house, and then it burned out. Did he? Like, he paid the first month's rent and bond, and then they come back and the house and burned out in Huddersfield somewhere. Wow. Apparently. I don't know if it's <laughs> true or not. But. Yeah. As yeah. soon as you leave high school, it's sort of like, because like, high school's like that, you think it's shit. It goes down, it's shit. Then it just goes, whoop. Yeah. Well, some something. people. Yeah. But it, like like the whole, like you had a routine for like, what, eight, ten years of just get up, yeah. school, home, sleep. About like 12 years. Mm. From four to 16. And that's like the big segment of your life, the first big segment in your life, and then you've got 
work, which would be like 50 years or whatever. And you don't. Yeah. Now, when you're at school, you don't think about it, but once you've left school. When you're at school, you think it's such a big thing, like a big getting a job and getting like, like a real Like you used world. to worry about homework. And, and then you're like, once I get one job, I'll have one job forever and I'll be set for life. I'll be that same company 50 years. Yeah. I'm already on like my third job. And then you realise, no, I don't want to stay with these for yeah. longer than a year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Safe start to yeah. a week. Yeah. So. No, it will. It will good. I'll enjoy that. Well, I I hated it at the time. Everyone, yeah, everyone. But now I miss it. Mm-hmm. Everyone says, don't grow up too fast, you'll miss school, all mm. this. And when you're younger, you're like, nah, what? Nah, scared, Can't like, wait. fuck as well. <laughs> Evidently. Would you would you have gone to school more now if you could go back? Would you oh, if I could school? go back now, one hundred percent every day. Yeah. Every day, yeah. Would you actually? What would you have done? Would you have done better? Oh Grade yeah. Grade wise and better, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, done better. Done what I want. I'd have gone on a better course at college. One at Bobby IT. <laughs> I'd have done something else. Yeah. And then I'd probably gone uni. Mm. Probably would have. I, could, I probably I could still. I don't know if I could go to uni. I probably could, but it's it's money in it. Big debt. Unless you get someone who can pay it. Yeah, you can do like undergraduate diplomas or whatever where part time where it takes like six years but Yeah. It's a long it time just to to, to Yeah to melt that. Twenty six bit time we've done. Yeah. And then when you get it you're like, oh, I don't want I'm not gonna use that. Yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. <coughs> exactly. So well, no. Well, no, it depends how much money. If I had a little cash load of money saved up just so I could spend it on what I want just to live off, I'd go to uni. Would you? Yeah, if I had like a big pot of money, I could just live off. Like I'd a quit, rich Yeah, I'd quit work and go to uni. Yeah. College and then uni, whatever, I'd just uni. So, but, like, it's not the way it happened. No. It's not the way I did it. No. Like, there's lots of things you, you wish you could have changed, you could change, but you can't. It's just in the past, and you've just got to sort of, you've got to accept shit, and <laughs> Yeah. That's what you do. Can't accept shit, yeah. 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 Like in the next say ten years, where do you see like what you what you're doing? Uh, I want to live abroad, man. Do want to live like abroad? Like where? Don't know. Don't know America. It's that cliche shit in it. Yeah. But I don't want to live here forever. No matter where it is, I probably want to move. Country. I want to move. Even if it was somewhere boring like yeah. Spain. I said boring, but it's where everyone goes. Like, I won't, I'd like to, like. I don't mind moving to Canada. But I won't, yeah, I don't want to live here. For, I don't want to live here forever. No. Nah, but it's there's just, too much to see elsewhere. Too much. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, where we live now, there's not much going on, is there? It's like. Not really. You've got, like. Walks and you've, then it's well the same for everything. Though. It's like your jobs. You've got where we live. You've got Huddersfield, and then you've you've got you've pretty much got Huddersfield and Wakefield. What only just don't take the piss to get to, mm. and then you've got Leeds, Manchester, wherever else. It's like there's no nothing immediately around here, and then there's like fucking the the um, the competition for everything in this country is stupid. Yeah. Whereas yeah, there's probably a lot more competition in America, but in ten years time. Maybe I've already earned enough money or set myself up where I can go over there where I won't have to worry about yeah. competition for a job or whatever. Like some houses over there are massive what you can get for the same price here. And in Spain houses are cheaper. No, in Spain is cheaper. Things are actual like living is cheaper yeah. over there, so I've heard. And there's just like span like if you ever watch like Sun whatever, the the housing show on Yeah, like a home in the sun or whatever. Yeah, home in the sun, yeah. You see like the, the villages they go and visit and you see like like it's so much different to like yeah like our city like our towns is like different to yeah. like the the towns in the countryside there like i know people who's had houses abroad who've got houses abroad and they just live abroad six months a year yeah. like when it's winter here they just go abroad mm. six months here six months there so it won't be that much of a day no. of a change but you know you're living in france south of france or wherever or spain for six months a year red hot and then over half it's summer over here yeah so I'd, I'd probably do that as well. You just need your own business, wouldn't you? Because I know I'm an old mate of mine, he's granddad had a house in Florida. Mm. So it's, it's not that far away, man, if you put your head to it. Like, it seems this massive thing, but... Like, I reckon if I went to America, I reckon I could get 
Like, if I if I was desperate for a job, I reckon you could get one in, like, a month or two. Oh, yeah, I reckon you could get one in a week if yeah. you said just a pot washer or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A toilet cleaner, even a cleaner, just anything. To... I'd even say I'd start for free. Yeah. And then if I'm good enough, just can you start paying me? Mm. If you were that desperate, I would definitely. To give you something to do anyway. Yeah, rather than just bombing around not knowing anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's think... what Marco Pierre White did when he... Not when the, he was the chef, like the young oh, yeah, Ramsey, yeah. when he wanted to go work at like the top restaurant in London or France or wherever it was before he got his own spot, he sent his CV and he went to Dawn and they said no. And then he said, before I leave, I'll say I'll work for free. And they hired him on for free and after like two or three months they started paying him. And that was it. He worked at like the three star Michelin restaurant only there at the time. Mm. And then he opened up his own restaurant. Everyone wanted to work for him mm. after he said I'll work for there for free to prove myself. So if you want it that bad, yeah. You know what I mean. You have to sacrifice, but it could be worth it in the end. If it's a th if it's a food thing and you don't get paid, you you might, well, probably get food given to you, and you don't have to worry about eating that much. In a way. Yeah. No, probably not. Like it, like if I were to go to America like now, and I had two grand saved, like a grand for the flight. I'll be like five hundred pounds for the flight to go. Five hundred for the flight, yeah. I buy like a like a camper van or like a like a long base car where you could put like a mattress in the back. Yeah, like an S Volvo or something. Yeah. An old Volvo. Yeah, and just slap a mattress in the back and just drive around looking for a job. Yeah. And then, and then sort of like, like meet people around that area and see what they do, you know. Yeah. Because a lot of people in America, like compared to here, a lot of people in America have their own like businesses and whatnot yeah because there's a lot more people mm -hmm. true yeah you just make more uh, contacts and whatnot yeah yeah just gotta see how it goes out we're only still young man we're only 20. You know like if mean? i like when my like channel sort of like kicks off sort of thing you know what i mean yeah like um like one thing i want to do is just like like for like a month a year or whatever just go somewhere and just sort of like you know backpackers yeah sort of like that just well, go I'm watching I'm watching a podcast yeah. where with that Appal where is it a pollution trail or whatever where you trail across the whole of America or whatever for six months and you, you take a backpack with you um, and some clothes and that and you only need to save up about five thousand dollars so probably about three and a half four grand mm. hit this money and then you like for six months yeah you take time out you do this what you just walk you walk this trail like the whole across America it takes six months and for like every 20 miles to make you walk there's a cabin where you sleep every night you can sleep in a different cabin every night and there's like people who's already walked it there's like there's little books notebooks in each cabin where people have slept there left yeah. a note or whatever to pass on left it there for people to come see and you, you write your own little notes in and some people there but wrote words and people have read all sorts of stuff from people's life stories walking this trail I'd just smell like that, me. Yeah. Wanna, I'd rather just smell like that. Yeah, that's definitely. True. You know what I mean? You're just walking, but you know, like some people have done it. They've they walked the whole way, just stayed in cabins. Some have stayed in hotels because you can walk. You walk past through towns yeah. and stuff. So you just get to you see everything, money, don't you? Yeah, you get to see everything. And it's like you're always like if it's active, rain or shine, outdoor. you're still outside. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you pack for it and be prepared, yeah, it'd be fine. I'd, I'd definitely do that, mate. Yeah. Definitely, but... It's that thing where you've got a... Like, you've got a job. But, yeah, exactly. You need six months out. You've got a job, and you need the six months out. Not many jobs exactly. that you've been there for, like... If you've not been there for, like, 20 years, they're not... You we're know, not interested, yeah. Yeah, they're not... Oh, I, I want to go... Fire. Yeah. Like, if you it. said... Oh, I'm going to go... I'm going away next month. Even or, it, yeah. In three months, I'm going away for six months... Um, I'll take it unpaid leave. Yeah. Just give me the time off. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, they won't. And no. it's bullshit because if you're pregnant, they'll let you off. Yeah. But. Yeah. You know what I mean. You'd you'd have to leave that job. To do it and then come yeah. back. And then... That'd be something you could do though. It wouldn't be. I tell you what, if you went over there and you did that for six months and you, you had the money, and you met people, like, like connections, like people in America. Yeah. And like, say they were like. You're getting near the end of the six months, and they're like, "Oh, what's what you're doing after uh, after you've finished?" And I'm going back to England. I left my job beforehand. Like, say if like they 
Like if they offered you like, say, a, a simple job like uh, fifteen dollars yeah. an hour, just which pack, is like packing or whatever, yeah, in the warehouse or whatever. Yeah, would <laughs> would you like? And they offered oh. to like let you sleep at their house in like a spare room for six months. If it were le- if you could do it legally, yeah. Yeah, like you you applied for a, a green card, a work or whatever it was, work yeah. permit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I definitely do that. Me, it's all part of life, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to be. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm only 20. I don't want to. I don't want to be 30 and down, still living. Uh, 20. I don't want to be tied down to a mortgage forever. I don't know. Like I do. I want to save up for a mortgage, but I don't want to be tied and it's down thing. to the same shit at an early age for the rest of my life. Yeah, it's like when you like say if, when you get a mortgage. It's that thing where you've you've got to continuously earn. Exactly. You've got to have to that pay that mortgage. Yeah. Month. And it's. That yeah. that you can't, then you've got like you Whittle. say you've got five hundred pound to say a mortgage, and then you've got your car, your phone, everything else like eight hundred. Then you've only got three hundred to you've got petrol, yeah, food. I'd be earning a lot more money though in the next few years, yeah. and then I'd have enough saved where I could still take six months out and have enough money in bank so I'll have paid every month mm. while I'm away. Yeah. Cause I, d- I definitely want to do that trail, that pollution trail or whatever it is. I n- need to Google it because I definitely want to do that. I'm looking at volunteering. Mm. Where you pay, you have to pay for your own flight yeah. for like a thousand pound for your flights there and back. But you get like six weeks in Thailand or six weeks in Thailand, wherever. Really like yeah. um, you can do Australia, you can do America. I'm looking at that camp council thing. You can do that. Mm. I'd, I'd love to do that, mate. For like six weeks in America in yeah. summer. Yeah. On a camp, or volunteering like like, um, like uh, uh, Vietnam or Thailand for six weeks, pay a thousand pound for your flights, but you've six weeks accommodation food and in a different country, life experience six weeks, mm. seeing the world, man, helping. You know what I mean? I I want to do that, mate, definitely. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck here. Yeah, it's all about. It's all about like like a lot of people. Well, I don't want to say that a lot of people now are just sort of get a job sort of find like a girl from one of them move yeah. in have a baby you know yeah like Sam but um yeah like once you have that I don't want to be tied kid, down man you've got to pay you've got to pay for that kid don't you There's something else to pay for yeah and look yeah. out for it's, and it's always in the back of your mind you can't I mean I don't have a kid but I know for a fact if I did it you know you always think about your kid don't you it's yeah. always in the back of your mind yeah it's just be there. I don't want that burden. What's well, not burden? Well, it is a burden to me at my yeah. age, doing what I want to do. It would be a burden. Mm. You know what I mean? But I'm more responsible than a lot of people, believe it or not, when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why I don't have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd like kids, but I'd want to be financially stable. Like I won't want to be. Like working. I just want to live my life first, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I, I want to go abroad. I want to do shit independently where I have no worries. I want, I want to live life. Yeah. I've lived a bit of life before. You have your kid, you settle down, you pay your mortgage, you have your same job for the next 10, 20 years, and that's it. You go on one all day every year for two week or a week when your work allows it, and that's it. Mm. And then fucking hell, next minute, you, you, that's it, you're old, and you're what the fuck am I done? I've worked 30, 40 years, yeah. I've gone on two holidays every year for the past 20 years to spend, and I've only not fucking hell, yeah, I've got a house where I've just paid off at 65 for my kids to take over, how lucky they are, I've had to work for it, and that's it, fuck that. Yeah. Nah, man, I don't want to do it like that. That's why, um, that's why I've always liked the idea, you know, like, uh, like buy a nice VW van, and you just... Yeah, I'd deal with it. Yeah, but... Us. You get one, and then... For, yeah, but a new transport, you could have a nice down payment for an hour. Yeah, but it's it's the fact that if you buy one... It depends what your... What your um, depends what your motives are. It depends what you... It depends what you want to do. Yeah, like if you want to travel... If you want to... If you want to own a house eventually, you won't spend 25 grand on a transport. Well, I'm talking like not brand new. Is that how much they are? It's pretty, yeah, they're about that, yeah. Probably like not. I'd buy... I don't know, like like something where you could like put a bed two in. grand, two and a half grand, yeah. a camper van, yeah, or not like even a camper van, yeah, and you yeah. just kit it out with everything you need, storage, all well, the videos you see on Facebook, hmm, 
Well, where, where they're like sat on like a mountain or whatever, and then they're open. It's like yeah, the scenery. Yeah, like if you buy a house, you can't travel. But then at the same time, if you buy a van, it's cheaper, sort of thing. Yeah, but you, you can mean save living, more. Do you mean living in a van or yeah. traveling in a van? Living. Like you can save a lot more money living in a van, but you've got to make a lot more sacrifices. Like a you lot can't have more. a shower. You can't. The internet. You can have. In, you can buy little dongle things. Yeah. But it's still not the same. No, it's not. You can. You could go to like Starbucks and whatever. To. Um. You can. Like. Yeah, pretty much the only expense you'd have is petrol. Probably a mobile phone contract and your petrol and your tax insurance. Yeah. And then food and whatever. Like, like the thing is with me, like I like going to the gym and that's sort of like. Um, I'd go just to have a shower here. Yeah, that's what I mean. But you've But again that's thirty six pounds a month. Yeah, you can't you, there's there's one in town that's fifteen pounds twenty four seven. And they've got showers and whatnot. Yeah. That's, that's like, good. Yeah, that's what I like if I were doing it. Yeah. But you just save it it does depend on what you want at the end of the day. Like if you just wanna I don't forget, if you you need you'd have to if when you say you're living in a van <laughs> You'd have obviously, would you have a full time job or not? Yeah. Because where you're getting the money to. Yeah, yeah, you'd have a full time so job. Full time job. Yeah. Like at my job. Yeah. Like your job, you could say. And I just go and live in my van. You could just leave work, get in your van, leave it there at work, <laughs> wake up, yeah. and you're gone. But the thing is, you've got to have like washers, dryers. You've got to clean your clothes yeah, as well. Yeah, that's, that's the big clothes? thing as well. Like you could, you could get like, a, you could wash them by hand and dry them. Somehow, but yeah, you need some. You need somewhere to manually do that as well. Yeah, there's one. In, there's a place in town there. You you get like a like a laundry. Yeah. yeah or, or and then like. Um, yeah, that pass it. I pass one every day. But again, it's how much that. I don't even know how much a laundry is. It's like well, it's like pound fifty I mean, for like, there now. Yeah. People still go there, but yeah. I mean, they're old fashioned to me. Mm. Like, everyone's got a washing and dryer in their house, like a washing machine in their house. Yeah, like. Uh, Why would you ever need one of them shops anymore? But there you go that could be a reason hmm. but I'm guessing the people who go there don't live in vans no but I don't know how much it'd be it's like like I wear like when I, when I didn't work I just wore the same clothes every day sort yeah. of thing because I yeah. didn't really get mucky yeah. tops I changed but bottoms I just kept on yeah they wear longer don't they yeah and um, like if I ever need if I was ever like in home first or whatever I'd just come to mum's put washing on but it's when you're like traveling or whatever, you've got to wash your clothes. You can buy like, like you it's get. You in spots when you're out and about. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's apps for it and everything. You can, but, um, yeah. You get solar panels on your on your van, and then you've got like a, a like two big batteries that power everything in your van. Yeah. And you could have like, a, like when you sleep or whatever, you could put like a railing of like your drying clothes or whatever. Yeah. But it's just washing them. Yeah, and it's the fact that you'd be another thing is like if you park somewhere yeah, and you were like lying there in bed you're worrying about it's like where you parked and it was like gonna try people and around you walking cars you know yeah. you're not always most of 99% of the time you're safe well 100% of the time you're probably safe it's in your head yeah it's the fact that someone, someone knows like you're thinking someone knows I'm in here like if you have a, a spaced out thing black windows everything in your thing it's like the back of a van no windows unless you make loads of noise no one's going to know you're in there yeah uh, if you park in a neighborhood that never seen your van before they're going to think suspicious yeah yeah but another thing like um like if i did you'd want someone else or like a like a dog with you just oh, to I'll keep your company that's the thing if you were living in a van it would be lonely man mm. I think if you did it on your own yeah like it really would yeah like you'd, you'd have a lot you'd have you would have quite a lot of time you'd have a lot of time in the end to do to just think about stuff yeah thing is if you had a full time job as well you can't venture that far out because you've got to get there for your job yeah yeah 
So it's it's just the fact that you can like what I like about it is if like well, say, say if you lived in a van for twelve months and then you saved up you say you could save up like seven hundred pound a month so mm. you had like eight and a half grand after a year so you had eight and a half grand in a pot and then you were living in your van like what would you do would you fuck your job off and go travelling for a bit with eight and a half grand or would you keep working and save up more or what would you do Say if I had like ten grand. If I had ten grand now in a van, van, yeah, with ten grand, but you still had your full time job. Like you'd be so tempted just to go. Well, depends how you are. Depends what you're on, because that ten grand could be down payment for a house. Yeah. It could be travel for a year. Big holiday, a big travel. Yeah. You could travel for a year on that. Mm. You'd have to be living life thin, but you could do it. You'd have to resource everything. Because you know people live off less than that, yeah. Mm. It's always going to the cheap stores and whatnot. Isn't it? So, but what you want to do? In what I mean, depending on what you want to do, would be the reason why you get a van. You don't get a van and then think, right, what, what do I want to do? Yeah, you've got you to know, know what you want yeah. to do before you get the van. Yeah, like I'd like to. I'd like to go to America, like get a van in America. Spend a year just travelling around, seeing everything in America. Yeah. Not everything. You can't see everything in a year, but you know. Yeah. Going around a seeing. Lot of things. Yeah. See a lot of things, but have no burden on your sort of thing, like no worries or anything. Yeah. Like the only worry you've got is either breaking down or. <laughs> yeah. Getting broken into. I don't even know. If you can stay over there for a year, like just travelling. I mean, I thought like the visas and max visas three months. I think it's nice. Well, yeah, months. yeah. Whatever you could do then. Yeah. Like three months. I mean, three months is a long fucking time as well, travelling abroad, man, in America. Mm. Oh, that's nice, that. If I got for that, I'd definitely take that. Yeah. That's something I want to do as well. I want to go America travelling. I want to go to Las Vegas on strip. I want to do Route 66 road trip. I do want to do that. That is a life thing of mine. I've got to do that. Yeah. Get a big RV over there, hire it as soon as you get over there, and then just do it. Like Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it, man. Get a couple of mates or whatever, two or three mates yeah. with you. You want, you probably want, on a road trip, you want probably four of you. Mm. Right, four is a good number on a road trip for that long length of time. Yeah. Or three, three or four, probably four, I think. Not two, two's. Not two, yeah. two's not. And you can do two. Well, it depends what you want to do. I think four lads that you could have a proper good laugh and you'd feel safe wherever yeah, you are. Yeah, that's Because there's four of you. Mm. It'd be a laugh, man. You go out and talk towns and that, having mad nights and yeah. then just driving through day, taking turns, seeing the sights. You would have, the, 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 the thing I love about it is the no worries part. Like, you don't have anyone to answer to, sort of thing. You know, yeah, and you've no bills to worry Like, you've never got. Like, you live here, you've always got someone ringing you up, you know, like, Courtney rings you up, or your dad yeah. rings you up, or, like, my mum rings me up, you know. Yeah. Just, like, being on your own, but not on your own sort of thing. Yeah. Like, um, it'd just be a big change, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? It's not, like I said, it's not... It's not impossible, it's a possibility yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, if, you, if you want to do it, yeah. You can save it in a year, well. Oh, I can't watch someone back in with that, yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. Depends what I want to do. Depends, what, just, depends what everyone wants to do, doesn't it? It's that you've just got to... If depends. you want to do it, you've got to just save. You can't do all... You've got to save and you've got to do... The thing is, that what, everything we're talking about, you've got to do it while you're young. While you've yeah. got no burdens and you've got no kids. Mm. It, yeah, it might sound selfish. You might meet but someone on the way, or whatever. Somebody wants to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you want to do it, and you know what I mean, it's, it depends on if you've got people tied to you, whether it's selfish or not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, we got to find out, haven't we? Yeah. See how it goes, but. Yeah, man. I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. First one. Yeah. Short one. Probably gonna be longer out there. Forty minutes. Yeah. Forty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Hour and a half. Cool. cool. Yeah. Um. Hope they enjoyed it. 
<laughs> the amount of rambling, yeah. yeah. I enjoy we'll, it. We'll have um, like better, Get better work. topics and whatnot, yeah. Yeah. We'll back on this and it'll be like wow, but yeah. you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? You've got every you got it you got it to look back on. You know what I mean? It's You're got documenting your life sort of thing, like if people don't want to hear it, they don't have to watch it, do they? It's, yeah. People are bored out of their head at work or on the way somewhere, whack it on. And it's you Might can be you the most entertaining thing, yeah. but it's something people can relate to. You can download just download it like an MP three stick it on your phone when you're walking, when you're into work or whatever. That's yeah, what exactly. I do with a lot of podcasts I watch listen to. Yeah. It's you can watch it or you can listen to it. It's like that's the best you don't world. miss out really. No. It's the same. Yeah. We'll probably mix it up as well, probably do a few videos, just a few with audio. Yeah. Vice versa. Like I'll, I'll be sticking it on YouTube and then I'll stick to it on Facebook and then yeah. SoundCloud and whatnot. Yeah, give people a choice. Yeah. But um other than that. Cool, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh I hope you did enjoy all that jazz. But uh next week will be Wednesday again or what? Yeah, sometime Wednesday Thursday. So it'll be like uh it'll be a weekly thing, just it'll be either Should leave it with us for now for a schedule. Yeah. Well, we'll figure that we'll, out. We'll get that figured out. But other than that, hope you had a good day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. So thanks for watching and. See you in a bit. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.